Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. All right, boys. Welcome back to the channel. Um, let's see. First down the job. New objective. You've been given an objective. Press O to open your transcribe. When you transfer, you inform your apartment. That is an odd freaking key placement for objectives. First day on the job, put on your trans star uniform. Uh, Alex convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos, uh, Talos 1 space station. Work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Put on your trans star uniform in your apartment. Oh, that's actually really cool how that moves with the mouse. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's see. What does E do? Oh, E changes inventory data. Okay, cool. Uh, notes, email. Uh, see that? Uh, shit. This, this one's also a little weird. Like to shift and tab. It's just weird. Uh, research, audio logs, email, notes. Okay, cool. Um, and then, see, back is backspace. That's that's so weird. Uh, show completed. Set active. Set inactive and backspace. That's such a weird key. Um, all right, cool. That is amazing. That's so weird. Okay, anyways, let's put our uniform on. First down the job, new objective. Nice glove. Um, get in the helicopter on the roof of your apartment. Um, okay, well, before I do that, I want to explore a little bit. Test employee workstations often contain useful information files and utilities. T to view more. Um, uh, your utilities. Oh, okay, that's basic. That's that's all. That's all there is. Um, how do I? Okay, okay. Uh, use object to examine. F paradox. I get it from his paradox. Uh, emails. Congrats and welcome. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. Uh, but first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some uh, stuff to clear clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Top Secret University of Talos 1 Research Facility. Uh, delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need on the first day. Uniform transcribe and a Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Alex. Uh, ready? Um, oh, this is from Alex. So I guess Alex is like our, maybe our brother. Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. Yep, the brother. I uh, won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York company stuff, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. <laughs> uh, she said you'd better behave and do everything your your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Any anyway. Everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. Anyways, alright, let's go. Fish. Don't get no fish. Don't get no fish. Holy crap, dude, how much can I climb? Alright. Hey, that'd be morning, funny. Mr. You. Ooh, well, hello. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. You'll have to take the elevator. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jump, shift to sprint. Uh, see to crouch. Slide while sprinting. Noise. So I can slide. Uh, my floor, roof. Alright boys, let's go. I've heard I wasted a lot of time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
That is a really cool looking chopper. Uh, Alright. Let's go, boys. First day on the job. Holy crap, that is a freaking gorgeous helicopter. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. The Transtar facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Yo, what? It's pretty cool. Dude, I love this chopper though. But it's so long. Like this cabin is so long for no reason. That is awesome looking. That's a nice view on the bay there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah it is. Well, I mean, he basically said we're a hot skip and a jump. I'm assuming this is the tower because I saw that sign down there. It's a really cool looking tower. Because it's Transtar, right? Yeah, here it is. I just realized that was like a massive waste of fuel when I could have just like here basically are, walked here. Mind like, the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's cool that we flew here, but it's like that. Report to the test center. Trying to start a uh, testing facility. But you, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like I could have just taken a cab or something, you know? Hello, Dr. You. The fuck? What are you? Oh my god, that is crazy. Uh, what the? Excuse that actually me. looks so cool. Uh, Last Frontier is, a, is the human mind, and we are its pioneers, William Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Yu. I know I am. Transtar has over a dozen state-of-the-art facilities across the globe. More if you count the entire Earth-Moon system. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test. Holy crap. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos One. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. The elevator will take you directly to the testing area. All our labs meet the minimum. <laughs> Strange. What? That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Dr. Yu. Oh, okay, that's it. That was weird. Why did she... I say she, but why Why? why did it do that? The hell? That Okay, that's not weird at all. All right, let's Welcome, go. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please oh, shit, we're late. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. 9 a.m. That was weird how it just, like, glitched out in the middle of that speech. Morgan. God, I mean... Finally. I was gonna say something, but, uh, not, you know... There's nothing wrong with being fluffy. God, you look so serious. Hey. You don't look terrible in a Transtar uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. What? Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu? They're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. Wait, but uh, according to all the things, they're like, eh, you know, standard procedure. You know, we're gonna do, we're gonna do some tests with you, blah blah. blah. But now he's if he's making it out like, yeah, sorry, you know, it's a little inconvenient. Doctor, as if like we normally don't do this uh, for the use, I guess. 
So it's just, I don't, I don't know. I just, I guess I find that weird. The method. Uh, what if I told you I could turn you into a method? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's an age other Yep. Cool. We've already read that. All right. I'm scared, boys. Hold my hand. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, so remove them from the red circle. Um, how do we pick up stuff again? Uh, it's F, I think, right? And then I don't remember how to throw because I never did actually throw anything. Just press the red button. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Hmm. That's... Okay. That wasn't weird at all. Alright, room B. Cover me, Doc. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Do our best to hide in this room. Is that follow me? Is it warm in here? Okay, so, uh, okay, do the best to hide in. What? I mean, all we got is a chair. What Do we just hide behind the chair, I think? Dr. Yu, Morgan, we're ready. Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. Hmm. Uh, what? Synaptic register? At all? No? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. That really sure didn't sound like it, buddy. What the hell? It's like, they were surprised. It's like, what do you want me to do? Like, there's nothing here. Like, with the chair. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker still on. What? I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. I'm sorry. What? I am so confused. What do you expect? Let me guess. Hide again? What? What the hell? Can now, someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm okay. going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Plan your vacation, go somewhere familiar, you know, you know, you love or try something new. Um, I usually tend to do Whatever familiar. Ready, Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Um, af afraid. I don't know what will happen. Angry. No one has that right. Um, calm. It was worth it. You've been sentenced to death for, for your actions. How does this make you feel? Um, I don't know what will happen. Afraid. It probably, I, I would honestly probably be afraid. Um, and for your actions, I, I'd either be angry or afraid. Uh, 
there's no context to the actions. So more than likely, you'd probably be afraid if, if I was given no context. So I'm going to say Ooh, afraid. That's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the... Oh, I fucking hate this question. It's so stupid. You can cause a train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause a train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the track. To the second track. I hate this question because there's no context. Because there's so many variables that you can add to it. Like, for instance, are the five people, like, convicted felons, all accused of murder, all on death row? And the one person on the other track is innocent. If you add that, obviously you would want to go with innocent. And I hate this question because there's no context and a lot of people tend to add context. With no context, the train is bearing down on five people who are tied to a track. With no context, there's just five people and one person. The best thing to do would, unfortunately, be to switch tracks and kill the one person rather than the five. Either way, you're, you're responsible for their deaths. It's a shitty question, and I hate it. If I build, you're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Push him into the track. What's pushing him into the track? would stop the train? You, of course, you don't push him. I would not push Almost him. Done. When the train's bringing down five people attached to the track, you could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Okay, I would jump on the tracks. If if I if I knew for an absolute fact that giving up my life would stop that train to save those five people then I would absolutely do it. I, I would like to think that I would absolutely do it. Um, I like how it still gives you the option for the fat man. Wow. I'm impressed. How? Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. The hell is that? The moment I'm going to ask you what... Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Yo, what the fuck? Oh my god! What the fuck? What just happened? Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Clean it up? Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? That was weird as shit. Anyways, I think that's where I'm going to end it for tonight. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.